tenths and hundredths, equivalent fractions. We have learned that tenths are fractions where we divide the number into 10 equal parts between each whole number. This number line is showing tenths between 0 and 1. Hundredths are when we divide the number line into 100 equal parts between each whole number. So if we look at this more closely between 0 and 1 tenth, we can see it is divided into 10 equal parts to make hundredths. When we add our hundredths onto the number line, we can see that 1 tenth is the same as 10 hundredths. Because each tenth has 10 hundredths, then 2 tenths is the same as 20 hundredths, 3 tenths is the same as 30 hundredths, 4 tenths is 40 hundredths, and so on. You can see each equivalent fraction is its multiple of 10. Let's look at this using an area model. This shape is showing tenths. If I shade in three of them, we can see three tenths. Now if I convert this into hundredths, I divide the shape into 100 equal parts. I can do this by dividing the shape into 10 rows. We can now see the 3 tenths is the same as 30 hundredths. Let's look at this side by side. You can see the same fraction represented as tenths and hundredths. So 3 tenths is equal to 30 hundredths. Now let's look at how we use equivalents to help solve problems. Here we have two fractions. Which one is larger? To solve this more easily, we can convert the 3 tenths into hundredths by multiplying by 10 to get 30 hundredths. Now it is easier to see that 30 hundredths is larger than 29 hundredths. What about putting these fractions into order from smallest to largest? When they are different denominators, it is a bit harder, so we can change 5 tenths into 50 hundredths and 6 tenths into 60 hundredths. Now, 48 hundredths is the smallest, then 50 hundredths, followed by 60 hundredths. Knowing how to convert fractions into equivalent fractions is important for understanding the size of them. It is also important for adding fractions. Here we have 3 tenths plus 18 hundredths. To solve this, we convert 3 tenths into 30 hundredths. Now our problem is 30 hundredths plus 18 hundredths, which is 48 hundredths. We can also convert the other way by doing the opposite of multiplication. So if I want to write 40 hundredths as tenths, I can divide by 10 to get 4 tenths. We can plot this on the number line to check our answer. Understanding equivalent fractions for tenths and hundredths helps us to understand fractions and solve problems.